Hey everyone, it's uh, Wednesday night and we're going to do a little uh, rhythmic yoga time. Uh, so tonight for starters, let's, um, let's jump right into a child's pose. Dropping the knees wide, chest coming through, arms extending out in front. And begin to release into your breathing. Deep, audible sigh. Let's just find the rhythm of your breath. The rhythm of your breath. The rhythm of our breath can say a lot about how we feel. If we're stressed or anxious, that rhythm, that breath could be short and quick. Or if we're in a deep, relaxed state or sleep, the breath is slow. So it's so important how something as simple as our breath affects our rhythm, affects our flow. I want to kind of segue that into to our energy. Our energy, the way we feel inside and how that projects outward. And how just as the breath shows our state, shows our state of anxiousness or frustration, our energy can do that too. The breath is very internal, it's all within ourselves. But if we start projecting our energy out, how does that show up? How does that have us show up? How does our energy affect other people around us? So it's so important for us to be mindful of the things that we say and how we speak and all the energy that's behind it. So we're gonna walk the hands over to the right side. And we've all been in those experiences before where two different people could say the same exact thing literally use the same exact words but the energy you feel behind those words can be completely different let's walk the hands through center and then take it over to the left side letting the right hand extend and land on top of the left place, when we find ourselves in a place where we feel like our energy is, is not, I don't want to say healthy, but that it's not a true reflection of who we are. Maybe we let some anger or some stress or frustration show up in that field. And sometimes all we have to do is step away and come back to the breath, the rhythmic breath that we're feeling right now as we practice. And notice how your energy shifts. Let's bring it back through center and then begin to walk the hands towards the torso as we untuck and find a comfortable seat. some simple stretches here. Let's reach the right arm up towards the sky. Maybe there's a little shift towards the left side. And then let's bring that right hand down with the left arm left. Down, switch. And 
and back. Keeping that left hand lifted, let the right hand come up to join. Interlacing fingertips, elbows bend, hands behind the base of the head or the skull. And elbows open up wide. Deep inhales and deep exhales. So we have our arms up in this position. We can feel the shoulder blades coming in towards each other. Just focus on how that feels, because when we exhale here, keeping the hands behind the head, we're just gonna bend the elbows in and fold a little forward. Feel the shoulder blades pull apart from each other, pull away from the spine. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale in. And open. Now let's just find that flow again. If that's a little too much for you, maybe we just pause at each one of those locations, whether it's up high or it's down low. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, release them. Release the hands, let's bring them out towards the knees. Extend the legs out, toes point towards the sky. And then plant that right heel and slide it up towards your knee comes to the chest. Arms wrap around to give yourself a little squeeze. And now let the sh shoulders roll forward. Let the back melt over the thigh. And then let's bring that right foot to the left thigh. Drop out the right knee. Left toes are pointed towards the sky. Left hand slides down, letting the right arm reach up and high. Maybe even reaching behind. I'm just going to start out up high here. Fingertips sliding up the shin, right hand coming down to the outside of that left thigh. Left hand coming behind us, here's a little twist. And then unwinding and switching sides. Right leg goes out, left knee comes in. Here's that little squeeze and rolling of the spine coming forward. to release a little here and then dropping out left knee to left side left foot comes to right thigh right toes pointing up towards the sky right hand to the shin let it slide down and then release that left hand take it up high Left hand coming down and around, we're going to come to the outside of the right thigh. Right hand falls behind, here's that spinal twist. And release, hands coming by the sides here. Bending both the knees, bottoms of feet are flat on the mat. Press into the hands, let's lift the hips up. Reverse plank, or reverse table, sorry. And then take it down. And two more just like this. Press through the hands and the feet, lifting the hips high. And take it down. Last one here, press up through. And release. Sweep those legs around and behind. Knees underneath, hips, hands underneath, shoulders. And let's sway a little left and right. Through those shoulders, through the hips. Let the head get heavy, maybe the chin comes down towards the chest. 
back towards center. Left leg lifts and back. Tuck the toes underneath. Long left leg, press through the hands, slide it back a little. And then as we bring it forward, left leg lifts, right arm out in front. Right elbow, left knee coming underneath. Inhale, open. Exhale, take it in. Two more, reach it out. Pull it in. And out. In. Right hand coming to the center. Turn that left foot down, open up, modified side plank. Right hand is down, left arm is lifted. Left hand reaches towards the thigh, let it sweep. Front of the face and then back to the high. Left arm circle round. Let's go once more. Sweep, lift, rise. And then left hand coming down towards the mat. Let's return to a lifted left leg. Bend the knee and press that foot up towards the sky or towards the ceiling. And let's go one more. Lift it up, nice, long. Bend the knee, bring it down. Right leg goes back. Tuck the toes underneath. Press into the wrist. Slide it back, stretching the right calf. Roll forward, right leg lifts. Left arm out in front. Inhale here, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Pull it in. <laughs> Loosen my balance here, reach it out. And one more, extend. Pull it in. Left hand comes down, turn that right foot onto the outside edge, right arm lifts high, modified side plank. Right hand reaches back behind, let's sweep it around. Let's go here three times, round in a circle. Pausing at the top. Right hand coming down, right leg lifts, bend the knee. Here we go, four times towards the sky. There's one, two, three, four. Right knee down, let's go wide, let's sink back to a child's pose. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Pedal the knees left and right. Right leg lifts. Bend that knee, step it forward. Lunge for a pulse. And again, light left foot to the top. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Fingertips to shins and toes and thighs. Arms lift, extend to the sky. The hands are gonna come to the heart here. Release down, take it back up. Pull the hands to the heart. We're gonna pause here for a second. Stay grounded into that right foot. Send left leg back. Find a little bit of a lunge. We're not going for that full lunge, just a little bit. Stay on the toes, the heel is lifted. And then let's step left foot back to the top. Step right foot back. Finding a little lunge. Stretching through the arch or the back of the heel. And take it up, arms release, take it to the sky. Exhale, fold, take it down. Left foot stays planted, right foot goes back. Here's your lunge for one pulse. Take left foot, back, down dog. Roll it forward, plank, down to the mat. Chin and chest, lift, rise, cobra. 
exhale, release, take it down, roll it right back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, step it forward. Find your lunge, this time two pulses, one, two, get light, step it to the top. Half lift, and fold. Fingertips to shins and thighs, chin, chest, lift arms to the sky. Hands drawing to the heart. Right foot steps back, a little lunge. Step to the top, left foot back. A little lunge. Step top, sweep arms. Take it to the sky. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat. Right foot stays planted, left leg goes back. Here's two pulses. And now let's take that right foot back. Push into your down dog. Roll it forward, plank. Option to drop the knees. Chin and chest to the mat. Take it up, cobra. Down and back, downward facing dog. Right foot lifts. Bend right knee, step it forward. Turn back, heel down, bring it up, warrior one. And then let's open, straightening the little front leg, pivoting on the heel, turning, arms down into our goddess. So warrior one to goddess, five-pointed star. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Release, down. Walk the hands around and back towards the front. Get light into the back, step into the top. Half lift. And fold. Reverse that swan dive. Lift those arms, take them to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just as we did before, left foot steps back. Stay into that little half lunge. Take it to the top. Right foot back. To the top. Release the arms, sweep them high. Exhale, fold. Down to center. Left foot stays planted. Right foot goes back. Turn that heel down. Let's bring it up, warrior one. And let's release and open as we go towards warrior two. Straighten the front leg, pivot the heel. Turn, sink down into your goddess. Five pointed star. Exhale, fold. Hands to the mat, half lift. Release. Walk the hands around and back towards the front. Get light into the back. Step into the top. Half lift. And fold. Reverse swan dive. Lift those arms. Extend them to the sky. Pull it back to the heart. But here we go. A little lunges. Starting on the right side. Right foot back. Step into the top. Left foot back. Step it to the top. And from the top, we're gonna open the feet a little wider, sink down into our squat. And let's just play with a little shift side to side. If the hands have to come down to help with the balance, then do that. Feel free to. So we're just getting a little shift in the hips. Warming up those hips from left to right. Now press through the hands, straighten the legs as we lift back up, half lift, and fold. Right foot stays planted, left foot back. Turn that heel down, we're gonna windmill up, warrior two. Let's just play with the arms. Right, think of fluid movement like water in the ocean. Like a wave just coming across the horizon. Let's straighten that front leg. Pivot. Reverse. Bring it back. So instead of taking it to warrior two in the front, lengthen the leg and take it to warrior two in the back. Let's find a little bit of that same fluid motion. Right to left, up and down. Right? When just like our breath, when we're in rhythm, the movement is so much easy, 
Straighten the leg, five points and start. Exhale, fold, take it down. Skandasana to the front. Skandasana to the back. Skandasana to the front. Turn, fray front foot. Find that deep lunge. We're gonna lower the left knee down. Inhale, both arms lift high. Pull it to the heart. And here comes a twist. We're not going for that twist with the left elbow. Right hand goes forward, left hand back. Drop left hand, lift right. Maybe that left hand comes to the calf, maybe it's on the thigh. Little windmill action. Right hand goes by the right knee, left hand comes down, right hand stop. Right hand down, frame the foot, tuck back toes, lift back knee. Again, light step into the top. Half lift. Clear it out. Left foot plants, right foot back. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, take it high. Modified crescent, left arm forward, right arm back. Let's find that reverse. Windmill, cartwheel, take it down. Left hand passes left knee. Right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky. Hot hand down, frame the foot. Tuck back toes, lift back knee. Again, light step into the top. Half lift. And fold. Left foot stays planted. We're gonna take the right foot back. Turn that heel down, let's windmill up, warrior two. So here we are, here's that fluid motion to the arm. Let's straighten that front leg, five pointed star, pivot the heel, turn the toes. Exhale, full, take it down. Half lift, and fold. Walking the hands to skandasana to the back. And skandasana to the front. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking away, but let's take it to the back. And take it to the front. Now from here, let's come back to center, pressing through legs, lifting up. Fingertips to shins and thighs, let's take it back up. Five-pointed star. Pivot and turn towards the front. Warrior two. Flip reverse to get back, straighten leg. And then let's cartwheel our way over and down, framing front foot, getting light, step it to the top. Half flip. Fold. Fingertips to shins and thighs, take it to the sky. Hands to the heart. Left foot back, let the arms sweep. Take it hot. Right foot back. And up. Left. Right. Left. Right. <laughs> Try to keep yourself center on your mat. One more time, each side. Right foot back, left foot back. Stand tall, find your fold. Hands to the mat, right foot plants, left foot back. Left arm windmills, let's take it up, warrior two. Fluid motion. Flip, reverse, take it back. Let's find our triangle here, right hand, right shin, left hand sky. Left hand down, bend into the knee, get light, take off half moon, lift. Left hand down, left foot down, half lift. Fold. Left foot plant, right foot back, turn that heel down. Rise on up, warrior two. Fluid motion. 
Flip reverse. Triangle. And let's find our half moon here. Folding over, taking off. Right foot, right hand are lifted. Hand and foot both returning to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend into the knees, finding your way onto your back. Knees coming to the chest, crossing the ankles. And let's roll right on through. We're going to do a little bit of core work here, even in the cool down. So let's extend the legs up towards the sky. Hands coming out to the side, shape of a T. And let's slowly lower those feet. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Letting heels touch down to the mat. And then let's take it back up. Feet pressing in towards each other, thighs touching. Inhale, here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg stays long, bend into the right knee. Bring the right knee into the chest. And now we're going to lower just the left leg. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now the lift. For 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left knee coming in, right leg extending high. Let's hold on to that left knee for just a moment. And then slowly lowering the right for ten, nine. In this Asana, we're going to find our variation of pigeon pose here on our backs. So hands to the outer edges of the knees as we bring the knees together. Left foot stays grounded. Right foot comes across that left thigh. Let's just bring a little sway, a little left to right. Opening up the arms here helps a little bit with the stabilization. Maybe that's where we're at tonight. A little rock left to right.
line here. Right leg extending towards the sky, pointing the toes. And then let's bring that right foot down. Left knee coming into the chest. Crossing the left foot over the right thigh. And finding whatever variation of this reclined vision is going to serve you tonight or today. For me, this little rock left to right is doing it right now. Just slowly opening the head. If you wanted to lift that right shin and wrap the hands around the hamstring, feel free to go for that. around that right knee to squeeze. Before right hand falling open towards the right side, as the head turns to look towards that right hand, the left hand brings the knee across, finding a supine stroke. center, squeezing right knee into the chest, before releasing right leg and slowly lowering down to the mat, as we bring the left knee in towards the chest, both hands sweeping and grabbing a hold of that left knee, left hand falling out towards the left side as the head turns to look to those fingertips as the right hand brings the knee over the torso, finding supine twist. Our energy is a powerful thing. And we have the choice in how to project it. And how to set it out there. Our energy doesn't only affect ourselves, it affects all of those around us. can be a very powerful thing. And the energy behind it can make all the difference. Slowly releasing and unwinding, coming back to center. Squeezing that left knee to the chest once more. Before extending that left leg out and slowly lowering down towards the mat to meet the right. A 
Let the inhale sweep the arms up overhead. Fingertips reaching for that back wall while toes extend towards the front wall. Making yourself as long as you possibly can. Exhale and releasing, allowing the arms to come by our side as we prepare for Shavasana. Starting at the crown on the top of the head, we release any tension from the forehead, allowing it all to just wash away. facial expression begins to melt off your face. The eyes are closed, but can you soften them? Jaw drops slightly open. Tongue presses against the roof of the mouth. The neck is long and soft and shoulders begin to melt into the mat. Breathing has slowed. The core is no longer engaged. The hips are loose, the legs are soft, and feet fall out to the side. This is Shavasana.
strong it is. To your fingertips and to your toes. You take this opportunity here to roll on over to your right side, finding a fetal position. Knowing that we're made up of love and of light. And that we send that love and light out to help others heal. Take this moment here to send some of that love and light within. So we can find our own healing. to stay here as long as you wish. Or if you want to find your way up to a seated position, as I read something to close class. Learn the art of living joyfully. Let's pretend for a moment we have a friend who's with us much of the time. This friend watches us, watches our lives and our circumstances, and comments, Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's terrible. That's awful. You could be doing better. You're not doing very well. What's wrong with you? Why did you do that? This friend isn't very pleasant, but many of us have brought such a friend along with us through much of this journey. Now let's imagine something different. Let's imagine a friend, a constant companion, who laughs a lot. This friend laughs at traffic, laughs at delays, and laughs at long lines even laughs at setbacks. Of course, this friend doesn't mock us or laugh at us when we're in pain. This friend is compassionate and gentle and has an open heart. But he or she helps us laugh even when we're hurt. This friend has learned the art of joy the art of living, the art of living joyfully. Let's bring along a friend who knows the art of joyful living to help us learn the same. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhaling thumbs to the third eye. As the light in me bows in honor, so the light in all of you. Namaste. Thank you.